What's going on, Fire Monkey? Wait, that's not how I do an intro. What's going on, champs and champets? It's Fire Monkey here, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now, I know it's been a while since I've really uploaded to the commentary channel, but I've been focusing on my Fortnite channel because at that time I was trying to go a whole entire month with at least one video daily, and I managed to achieve that goal. So, here I am giving you guys some more love for those who like hearing me rant on about anything, and in this video, actually helping people fix an issue that I I had for weeks. So for those who weren't aware, the build of Windows 10 got leaked around, eh, I want to say two, three weeks ago at this point. Time flies fast. And I upgraded to it. I was one of the few people who were using this leaked Windows 11 build on their main computer. Is this a stupid idea? Yeah, it's a leaked build. Anything can go wrong, especially since it's made in early production. It's a developer build. It's not the one that's going to be sent out to the public, so expect issues. Well, right when I had installed this, something I noticed right away was there was this weird crashing error, and it was related to a Realtek driver, and I'm sitting there like, what is going on? I don't know what this is. The only thing I think of is audio cards, so I'm looking at my settings, I'm like, my audio is fine, I don't get why this would really even affect anything, like, I, I can hear perfectly fine, my ears are working, my speakers are working, everything's all good in the hood. So, I'm sitting there and, you know, I'm just working on content, doing all that stuff. After the first day of blue screening, everything started being normal again. I could just edit, I could play games, no worries in the world. And, you know, that error, that little, like, crashing went to the back of my mind, because while it did happen at the start, it stopped happening, so I had nothing to worry about. Well, Windows 11 gets officially announced, and recently they put it on the actual dev build of the Insider program, meaning I could finally upgrade to the real version of Windows 11 without having to worry about some shady software that has like a hybrid of Windows 10 and 11 mixed into it. And let me tell you, if you guys <laughs> could already tell by the foreshadowing in this video, that crash, that blue screen of death, it got worse. So right when I update, I get a blue screen of death like 45% into upgrading from Windows 10 to 11. So I'm like, oh god. No, this is terrible. Luckily, I keep a special, like, USB stick that is literally just my Windows 10 recovery stick here handy whenever I need it. So, if anything really went wrong, I could just boot back up to Windows 10, however I would have to, you know, of course, factory reset. So, I'm sitting there like, oh god, this is terrible. And it, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try installing Windows 11 again. Keep in mind, I'm doing this very late at night. It's like 10 or 11 p.m. at this point and it crashes at the second installation. I'm like, oh no, I'm just going to crash whenever I try updating. So, you know, I actually managed to get it to update because for some reason after it crashed, it didn't try restoring back to Windows 10. It just kept going with the Windows 11 installation. So I'm sitting there confused, like what's going on? And I'm live tweeting all of this on Twitter. However, the tweets are deleted now. And man, let me tell you guys, that crash, all the crashes were related to the exact same crash I was getting in the dev, like, leaked build. Except, it was ten times worse in the official build, ironically enough. So, of course, I'm not going to be able to handle this, but it got even, even worse! So I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, maybe if I just try that, maybe if I unplug my ethernet cord or something, because my PC was crashing, blue screening of death, every minute my computer was on. Like the first minute after it turned on, it was like, nope, we're dead. And I'm like, okay, maybe I could just disconnect from the Wi-Fi or whatever. Disconnecting from my Wi-Fi actually worked. So I'm like, wait a minute. So it has to be something related to my Wi-Fi. I thought maybe I had a bad Ethernet cord. So I swapped Ethernet cords. I was trying just without a wire entirely. I was like, all right, I have the router right next to my computer. I'll just try that. It didn't work. As soon as I was connected to the Wi-Fi, that next minute, boom, crashed. Come to find out, the issue of my problem was that in my Windows update, whenever it searched for a new driver, whenever it was searching for things to update, it found some driver called Realtek-Net. And whenever it tried installing that, it just flat out crashed my computer. So right there, we kind of figured out what's going on here. It's a network driver and it's by Realtek. So we figured out the brand 
brand, we figured out the driver, so what was going on here? Well, the version it was trying to install was a version called 1.0.0.7, and I didn't know this at the time, but I'll share this with you guys ahead of time before you, like, <laughs> install this if you ever see it in your Windows update. That is a driver from 2014 for Windows 8. That is why it was crashing on my computer. It is so old, and I don't know why Windows detected this as the newest driver possible for me, that it would just crash my computer trying to install it because it's not designed for Windows 10 nor 11. So, what was the solution to this, you may ask? For those who may have, like, you know, gotten this issue, feel free to, like, put a timestamp in the comments down below for them. The solution was to manually install the driver. Now, it wasn't obviously called Realtek Net, no. Instead, they had changed the name at some point since they originally released the software, and the accurate name for this little adapter was Realtek Gaming 2.5 GBE Family Controller. And, it's just... Updating this manually fixed the whole entire issue. For those who don't know, uh, let me let me put it this way: the version Windows 11 tried installing that crashed my computer was 1.0.0.7. The one that I manually installed, which is linked in the description down below, that fixed all my issues. I'm on Windows 11 right now. I have been for the past few days, even though I lost all my files due to blue screening on blue screening. Is 10.50.511. Point 2021. This means that there had been so many revisions since the 2014 version that the newest update was actually from May 11th of 2021, yet my Windows computer for some reason was like, ah, 2014, yeah, that's, that's super new, you know, that was like 10 minutes ago. So, if you ever upgrade to Windows 11, and if this issue is still occurring, you notice it in your Windows 11 little, like, update, wi update register, whatever it is that they call it, the Windows Update Path, whatever, whatever it is, just know how to fix it. Go to the link in the description down below, and this is only if you have Realtek Gaming, I'll also put the error code that you need in the description. If this is the error code you're getting when you're crashing, this is the fix for you. Download the driver manually, and install that driver while you're disconnected from the internet. Because if you install it while you're connected to the internet, you're going to get this crash and you could screw up things even more by crashing mid driver installation, which is never a good thing. And now you may notice something a little bit different about this video. Once the video ends, you're going to get a different colored outro, or it might be the same one. I think I gave you guys a greenish outro. However, it's slightly different. The reason for this is, because I crashed so much, I actually got a blue screen of death during a blue screen of death. Like, I got so many blue screens of death that it just took me to a thing that was like, contact your computer administrator. Contact them and get a recovery disk. Use a recovery something. Because you just can't boot into Windows anymore. It was that bad that I was just crashing on crashing. Like, middle of a blue screen. Hey, here's another blue screen. Enjoy. And because of that, I had to factory reset my Windows computer, and while I only had to change my C drive, because I do have three drives on my computer, my C drive just so happened to be the one with the most storage, which was where I was storing all my video files and everything else on. And because I don't really know a way to safely extract that data without really harming anything else with the tools I actually have at the time, I had to wipe all my data. I had to wipe all the files I actually had on my computer and come to find out I didn't even have a backup available. I thought I did, it was gone. So I manually remade the outros for all my channels, I manually remade like all the assets I've been using on everything. So yeah, welcome to my Windows 11 experience of just crashing and crashing and crashing. I wanted to make this video just to do a little bit of a rant for you guys, but also so that I can just talk about my experience and how I managed to actually end up preventing it. With that said, however, my name is Fire Monkey. If you liked today's video, consider subscribing and post notifications enabled to never miss an upload. Like the video as well, and if you didn't like the video, feel free just to dislike it and be on your way. With that said, however, I am back! I'm glad to be back, boys, just to ramble on about whatever it is I want to talk about. Maybe we can even put some Let's Plays on this channel eventually. And enjoy the rest of your days. Enjoy your night, your day, whatever it may be. Peace out.